Hey guys, welcome to another episode. My name is Zeta Lasfar. Welcome to my page, nogratification.com. Um, we're all about trying to just eliminate gratification from our lives. And, you know, be the be the best that we can. Try to overcome ourselves so that we are not slaves to our desires and a slave to God. This uh, episode is called, uh, you know, you can't have both. You either choose uh, validation or you choose love. You can't have both. So, um, you know, it seems in like, uh, it seems like in life that um, it's just that we're all chasing like pleasures, right? I mean, that's granted. But I guess I really stumbled across this thought when I, um, when I would study the opposite sex, you know, like in my heart, I always wanted love. You know, I always wanted to be in love with the girl um, that loved me back. But I just, I could not understand the opposite sex, you know, like at first I was too shy to actually talk to them, to understand them. And, and have a girlfriend because I was just too shy about it. And looking back in high school, like that was probably like the best time because the girls had no understanding of their value in the society. So, um, you know, it was just, it was even playing field. You know, a guy and a girl talk, you know, like girls didn't feel like she, she's doing you a favor by being in that conversation um which happened later as you grow up but like just trying to understand the opposite sex i just i just couldn't in my adolescence and early 20s um it just seemed like a lot of the time the uh like the like the girls would just want attention like, it's almost like, I don't, some, maybe it's because they, they just don't, I try to, I try to figure out, like, the life of a girl, right? Like, growing up in a Western society. I think what happens is, you know, throughout high school, they don't understand their value. And look, when I say value, um, I'm not saying that a man doesn't have value. Like a man has value, a woman has value. Like if you're a, if you're from a religious background and you are believing in God, then the man has value and the woman has value. There's no like uh, women have a higher value. Um, it's only because we live in a, a disbelieving society that focuses on pleasure and desires that. The woman's value has been ex exponentially increased over the man because she provides a um, she provides a pleasure of sex. She provides like a, ple a a more instant pleasure, a more instant gratification for the man for sex. So, because she provides that pleasure, um, she has a higher value just because of that and, and the man gets uh, some uh, gratification over her, over her physical beauty over you know, over obtaining her physical beauty I think so you know the women the women in the in the western side they have a higher value so I just imagine that you know in the, when they're in high school they don't know they don't understand that uh, perceived value that they have of themselves until later on in their like early teens 20s and um i just unfortunately i think what happens is that uh you know a lot of the time they they get used at a young age they get used for sex and not all of them some of them they you know they had they get boyfriends and the boyfriends love them and then you know, they don't feel worthy of love and they look for another man. They think that's going to give them that love feeling. But, you know, uh, it's just because they're empty inside. But it's that, it's that, um, what was I saying? 
yeah, it's the uh, the perceived value of the Western society that uh, that really kind of ruins their mentality. They they I think they want love, but then they're scared of getting used again. Um, and at the same time, they feel sad sometimes. So then they use their bodies as a way to attract men and, and then pick their emotions up and feel better about themselves. So um, it just, it goes to show that, you know, each side of the gender is chasing validation. You know, the, the women are chasing the validation of getting looked at by a man uh, by attracting a man and then feeling she is attractive by, you know, wearing less clothing, wearing more re revealing clothing, um, putting pictures on Instagram, blah, blah, blah. And then you have the man who chases the validation. Uh, he chases that, well, first of all, he's sex he chases the sexual gratification. But, you know, a lot of the time that that small orgasm pleasure from sex with a woman isn't that great it's really like it's really sold as a big pleasure but it's not that big of a pleasure you know like when you really think about it there's other pleasures that are in line with that if not if not better sometimes you know like today i'm fasting and i'm extremely thirsty that's why my voice sounds a bit dry that's the reason and I'm extremely thirsty and, you know, the imagination of drinking cold water, like the, the pleasure of drinking a deli like delicious cold water is more appetizing and like desirable to me than to have sex with a woman like right now. So um, it's not it's not like an ultimate pleasure that it's made out to be. And I think a lot of the time that's because of like the society and the media that has built up that value so much and a lot of young men they, they actually they stop being virgins and they they obtain that pleasure they have sex with a random girl and a lot of times they regret it they just they just think like was it like a lot of people when they have sex with this first time i think is that it well i was waiting and waiting and building up for that um so yeah, so the and the men they they're looking for the sexual gratification, but it's not even that. It's more just to tell themselves that they're a man, you know. Just to have like to sleep with lots of beautiful women is a way of validating their pride. Is a way of telling themselves that uh, they're a worthy man. So, um, you know, that's the topic of this video. That's just the lesson of this video. Is that you can't have both you know like every all of us all human beings we all want love i think like i think god puts love in all our hearts like we all want it um but just the difference between some people who choose validation and some people choose love is that the people that choose validation they've just stopped listening to their heart like either they have been hurt in the past and they refuse to listen to their heart again and then retry for love or turn to God to fix their broken heart. Or it's that uh, maybe the validation is so good for them that they just don't even think about, like they, they don't even think about love. Like, you know, validation can be a very dopamine type, head type pleasure. Um, and, you know, if you really, if you really, just think with your head and not with your heart then you can then you can really just uh, ignore that love feeling in your heart completely so and you know for example there's a lot of there's a lot of girls out there on instagram and they got like 100 200 thousand followers they're making lots of money it's hard to listen to your heart for love when you're getting so much uh dopamine type pleasures gratification from from that reality you know and it goes back to uh my talk about kierkegaard um the despairing man so you know have a listen to that podcast that'll give you some more understanding as well so uh the point being is that yeah you can't you can't have both 
you know, like in your mind, you you think you can have, but it's, I think some people in their mind, they think they can have it all, you know, they think they can have, they can be young, like if you're a guy, you think you can be young, go sleep with lots of women, have fun, uh, you know, uh, have people like you, have so much people like you, make money, blah, blah, blah. And after all that, have love, have a wife that loves you and adores you and admires you. Um, but it doesn't work like that. Like you can't, like, like God gives you a choice. And if you go down that validation path, you cancel out the other path. You have to choose which one you want more. And the same with women, you know, like uh, uh, for these women that wear minimal clothing, um, they're constantly on Instagram trying to get attention from men, trying to get men to, strange men to like them and give them attention or even collect money from Instagram from uh, simps. They're ruining their chance at uh, a loving husband that loves them and adores them and respects them. So... Um, you know, you choose either validation or love. You can't have both. You, you either live a, uh, you know, a simple life and have a loving wife, one wife, one woman that loves you, one husband that gives you attention and care and respect, or you have validation. And, you know, the validation life, it's extremely, extremely unfulfilling. These, that life is so, so unfulfilling because really deep down the heart wants love. So you can't ignore the heart. You can't ignore that void in your soul, you know. And so these people, they're empty and they're constantly trying to fill that void up, but they just can't. It's just a, it's a depressing life and they're just going from one emotion to the next um, until they until they can able to face the reality that the life they're living doesn't make them happy and it's really the search for God and the search for one loving partner is going to fulfill that for them so that's the episode guys I thought I'd just make this a quick episode I wrote a little blog piece on it I was actually inspired by a video called the legendary the legend of Miami you know, watch that video, that'll give you an idea how really sad this guy's life is. Um, and, uh, you know, I just feel so lucky and I feel so thankful to God that he put me on the path of love and not on the path of validation. He took me off that path. And, you know, I really pray that other people get off that path and, uh, you know, find God and find the their true love and the partner that they're looking for. So peace out, guys. Uh, I'll see you on the next episode. Catch you later.